Hello, I'm Travis Hill with the Zojo engineering team, and in this session I'm going to talk about some of my favorite Zojo web framework features. So, first one I'd like to talk about is themes. We'll see how easy it is to change the whole look and feel of a web app without having to change any code. Next, timers. They might sound a bit boring, but not always. Timers allow you to make a dynamically updating interface very quickly. Next is charts. It is very easy to make different kinds of charts and graphs with Sojo Web out of the box. And finally, handle URL. It's super flexible and makes creating web services very easy. So let's start out with themes. The Zojo web framework uses Bootstrap and Bootstrap themes to make styling your entire web app easy. There are a couple of ways to get a compatible Bootstrap theme if you want to change up the look and feel of your app. There are pre-made themes. You can download these freely from sites like bootswatch.com. You can also build custom themes yourself. You can design custom themes at sites like bootstrap.build and then easily download them for use in your Zojo web app. So let's take a look at one of my favorite sites for pre-made themes, bootswatch.com. As soon as you go to bootswatch.com, you'll see a list of many freely available themes. You can preview or download each of them. When you download them, make sure to pick the bootstrap.min.css format from the arrow. That's the name and format that Zojo web projects expect. Moving on to custom themes, let's take a look at bootstrap.build. When you first navigate to bootstrap.build, you'll see a big open the builder button, which is what we clicked on to get here. As you see, you can change everything from buttons to bars and all their colors, fonts, and so on. Once you've created a theme you like, Click the Export Theme button, and then the bootstrap.min.css option is shown. OK, so you've got a pre-made or custom-built theme. How do you use it in your Zojo project? It's very easy. All you do is take that bootstrap.min.css file that you've downloaded and drag it to your project navigator in Zojo. That's it. Once you've done that, all of the controls in your web project will take on the appearance of that theme. So what happens when we drop a new theme in? Let's load up our classic Edius Electronics example and see. This is the original, out-of-the-box Edius Electronics example that is available with every download of Zojo. It has the look and feel of a standard, modern web application. So what happens after we drag in the fun, sketchy theme from Bootswatch? Let's see. We haven't touched any code at all, but the whole look and feel is now changed to that sketchy theme. And maybe this isn't the best theme for a business app at the end of the day, but it's a lot of fun to play around and see what might make sense. Next up on my favorite web features list is timers. Timers might seem a bit boring at first, but they let you make dynamic changes to your web app very quickly and easily. Web timers can execute either from the browser, client side, or server side. They are easy to use, you just drag and drop a timer from the library and add run code to start. One of my favorite things to do with web timers is update the UI with changes that don't take any user intervention. So here's a simple project I've whipped up. I've dragged a label on here and centered it. I've set the font on this label uh, to bold and a size of 75 so it is nice and big. In addition to the label, next I've got our countdown timer, which you can see here in the bottom tray. I haven't needed to change any properties, the defaults are great for what we want. So now let's look at the heart of the project, the timer's run event. The code here is very simple. We have a single integer property called countdown seconds, from which we subtract one. If there's still time left in the countdown, we update the countdown label to reflect how much time is left. If the time is up, we change the text to lift off, the color to red, and make the font size really big. So let's see what that looks like when it's running. Now the countdown is started. And there's the big liftoff message. 
Thanks to the Zojo Web Framework and Timer, this project was just a handful of lines of easy to understand code. Now let's take a look at charts. What make charts one of my favorite features of Zojo Web? They render in the browser client side, so they are smooth and responsive. There are multiple chart types, including lines, bars, curves, pies, and more. They are easy to use. Just plug in some data and Zojo will take care of the rest for you. So let's open the charts example and see what it looks like. First off, you can see that displaying the data points is smoothly animated and automatic as I hover over them. Next. Since these charts are all rendered in the browser, you can see how smooth the chart resizes when making the window smaller or larger. It's very easy to do this kind of combination chart with Zojo Web. This example is included in every download of Zojo, so I'd encourage you to take a look if you haven't yet. And finally, handle URL. This is an event available to every web application that lets you do, well, almost anything. So today, I'll walk through two common things you might want to do with handle URL. One is redirecting to another URL. And another is web services or APIs. So let's hop over to another example project and take a look at these things. So here I've got two web links, redirect and show quote, that will run our two handle URL examples. We have code in their opening events that will automatically point them at the right URL, no matter where the web app is running from. This code is the same for both links. Next, you can see that we've set up constants for quote URL to be accessed as quote and redirect URL to be accessed as redirect. And here's the heart of the example, the handle URL event itself. When a request comes in, we'll check to see if they are accessing the redirect URL or the quote URL. If they access the redirect URL, we send them off to the Zojo documentation. If they access the quote URL, we randomly select a quote to display. Now let's see what it looks like when we run this and load those URLs in a browser. You can see here that we have the two links available. They are running locally on my computer right now, and we have one link for redirect and one link for quote. When I load the redirect URL, I'm immediately redirected to the Zojo documentation, just as the code instructed. And when I go back and I load the quote URL, I am shown a random quote. This quote web service is also included as an example in every download of Zojo. And those are just four of my favorite web features in Zojo. Zojo makes building web apps fun and easy and lets you bring your Zojo skills from other platforms over very quickly. You can find out more about Zojo Web here on our YouTube channel and feel free to drop me an email if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.